You know, we've got some great competition right now. Special teams as a whole, this is year three. Our guys understand the techniques. They understand, you know, the teaching progression. So where we're at is where we should be at in year three, but we're always, we're, we're, it's an endless pursuit of perfection. And we're not there yet, we'll never be there. But I love our group. We got great speed. We got great, we got guys who put their damn face on you. We got guys who, it, they understand the importance of it. And so the culture that um, I hype and, and everyone has created in this building, it, it's been phenomenal on teams, and we're only going to continue to be better. And the standard around here, I've said it before, I'll say it again, standards to be the damn best. And, and we're never stopping. So it's always looking for things to tweak it. And the kickoff job, we got three guys that, that are neck and neck right now. And, you know, you got, um, you got Charles, you got Max, and you got Josh Turbyville. Those guys are all, they have really strong legs. We got great competition right now, and, and, and it's not settled at this point. Um, what's the process of relaying the importance of special things to your guys? It's pretty simple. You know, it, it makes you a complete football player. If you have any aspiration of going on to the NFL, you, you might like to become a surgeon on special teams. And those guys, our guys understand that. And they see, like today, for example, we showed clips of P. Fant on kickoff return uh, for the Cowboys. Yesterday, we were showing P. Fant on, um, you know, on kickoff. And so, I mean, we show those guys every, every, single, every single week. We showed um, Tillman on punt return. You know, and, and did those guys play that while they were here? No. But did they train? And did they learn the skills? and that are transferable, not only their position, but transition, you know, and get them prepared to play on Sunday. So that's, they understand that. And let me tell you, we got guys fighting for damn spots on, our, on teams. You know, Rossi is, he's a special dude. And I mean, he, he, I think he's extremely comfortable. And, but he works his tail off. The guy's a pro. And what people don't understand about Jackson Ross, when he was 15 years old, he was the number two tennis player in, in the whole country of Australia. I mean, the guy's a phenomenal athlete. This summer, he goes and runs, we time him, he's in the four fives. I mean, I, I kid you not, I think he could be a starting wide receiver for us. He's that athletic. People, he, he might look like an accountant or something, but I mean, the guy is uber athletic. And he, and he, he claims he has a third strongest arm on this team behind Joe and Nico. And, but I, for me, the guy who signs my paychecks, I'm gonna say the fourth behind Hype also. I mean, the guy can sling it. So he, he's pretty special. And, and, Got a great disposition, but he's got a pro mentality, and he was. I mean, you have to remember, he was a pro, Australian rules football, for three years. So he's got that type of mentality, and absolutely love the guy. Noah. What have you seen out of D. Williams compared to this time last year? Just, you know, he's confident. He understands his role. He's going to be, uh, has an opportunity to be the best return guy in the country. And he's earned that. And he's got the instincts. He's got the ability. And it's like an offense when you've got a great running back, your offensive line blocks a little bit harder. You know, they know all they got to do is just give you a crease. And that's what those guys understand on, on our return units. All they got to do is let him get, get it started. And, and he'll do the rest. I mean, the guy, is, he's a real one. And, but we got a bunch of them too now. I mean, Squirrel White, he's real. You know, uh, Cam Selden, he's real. Sampson, he's real. I mean, we got, we, we, got a, we got a bunch of those guys, which we should. Two more. Where are you on, on kickoff return? You mentioned some of those names. How close are you to settling in there? And, and two, there's been a lot of talk about this freshman class and their athletic ability. You guys have always played a lot of freshmen on special teams. What kind of influx do you have with those guys coming in? How, how much impact will those guys make there? Well, hit kickoff return first. 
we got about we got about four or five guys we're working you know in returner and off returner in that role so we feel good about that you know we got d we got cam we got samp you know we got will Wright back there working we got we get we got some guys that um we feel confident with and um but from the freshman standpoint one of the really cool things if you look back since the time we've gotten here we've taken freshmen and we put them out there and we played them in, on, on special teams from the jump and developed them and got them game reps right there, got them acclimated. So when they go in on offense, they go in on defense, they're like, hey, no big deal. They're already, they're already ready to rock and roll. And that's, that's kind of how we look at it as a staff from a special team standpoint. It's, we develop those guys there. And so to answer your question, we got a bunch of them. We got a bunch of, of true freshmen, a bunch of those DBs, receivers. I mean, like, shoot, um, Ethan Davis, tight end. But you got, you know, John Slaughter, you got Gibson, you got Matthews, you got Conyer. You, I mean, we got some guys who are, are doing some great things. Caleb Herring's out there rock and rolling on a couple units. I mean, so it's really, it, it's cool. We got, love, the, love our freshmen, love their mentality. They love the game, and, and they're only going to get better. Coach, um, new playing surface at Nissan Stadium this year, is that something that you're able to prepare for at all with your unit, or is that something that you're just going to have to figure out the day of the game? Or is there any change? You know what? Uh, I'll be honest with you. I didn't even know there was a new surface. I don't worry about that. I know that we're going to roll the ball out there. It's going to be 100 yards, you know, and, and – you know, I don't care if it's turf. I don't care if it's grass. Uh, I don't care if it's dirt. I and mean, we'll be fine. Anything else, Patrick? Mike, you, you talk about those freshmen impacting your units. Is that an easy sell for those guys to get those guys to come out there and compete? Even with, you know, they all want to play on defense and offense. It's easy to get them to, to want to go out and compete those spots on special teams. I'll go back to three years here, right? And our best players sit in the front of the meetings on special teams. They may not all play on special teams because, you know, they don't come off the field on offense or defense, but those guys are knee deep in it. So when these freshmen come in, who do they look up to? They look up to those guys, right? Our team leaders. Our team leaders are the ones, you know, freaking bruising in there, busting his tail. You know, all these guys are out there. Um, and so I don't have to say a word. Those guys set the tone, and it, it's the way it should be. So we got you walk in that meeting room, and it's like a dang cult, man. I'll say one word, and 85 guys in unison will finish it for me. And that's how that's how we train them, you know. And so it's they they get in there, they feel it. So it, it's pretty it's pretty cool. I I, I enjoy it. Good, good. Hey, appreciate it. Have a great one.